Hi, Caleb with Brown Eyes here, and in today's product spotlight, we're going to be taking a look at some mounts from Unity Tactical. So, Unity has been making this stuff for um, a bit of a while now, as far as you know, just AR accessories go, um, specifically in the the sighting realm, uh, but. I wanted to show you guys these because I think these are these are really cool and they actually offer something that a lot of other mounts do not. So jumping right into it here, the first thing you'll notice, the first thing I noticed whenever I picked these mounts up and actually saw them in person uh, was the quality of the machining and the quality of the anodizing. I was like, okay, yeah, these are, these are gonna be good mounts. Uh, so they are aluminum with a uh, steel mounting bracket on the bottom and screws. And if you notice, they all, they'll all have this. Uh, there's this cutout here that looks like there's supposed to be something there, but there's not. Uh, that is an optional uh, upgrade you can get for them. So uh, ADM, American Defense Manufacturing, makes a QD lever that'll mount to these and just mount right there instead of using the uh, traditional style screw-on clamp. So that is an option if you, you're a guy that likes uh, or has to have QD stuff, then, uh, then you can do that with this. No big deal. So I mentioned before, they, they offer something that a lot of others don't, and that's gonna be backup iron sights built into them. Uh, not all models, so I'll show you the two that do have it here. So this is the Unity uh, MRO series, which is specifically for the Trijicon MRO. And if you look on the back here, I don't know if you can really see it that well, but you can certainly see the serrations. There's a rear backup sight built into this optic. That's why on this gun, I don't have a rear backup sight, but I do have a front sight on here uh, because this backup sight in the mount actually uh, is set to the height of your standard AR-15 front sights. So I have a front sight here. I don't need anything on the back. It's built in right there. Nothing to flip up. It's already just in there, ready to go. Uh, and of course it is adjustable for windage, so. Uh, you don't have to worry about not being able to zero it. All right, so that's the MRO series. Let's talk about the talls or the uh, the micros for the actual aim points. Now, when we get into it for the aim points, there's your standard, you know, tall aim point mount right here, and this one has a front and rear sight built in, which honestly I wasn't crazy about because the sight radius is like two inches, but that front sight. Uh, built-in piece is optional. You can just remove it. It actually doesn't come installed. You have to install it yourself. And uh, so you can use it just like you would use this one. It has a rear peep aperture in there. And if you remove the front sight post, you just use your standard AR-15 height front sight, which again is awesome. It's all built in there. Nothing to flip up. It's just a peep sight ready to go. You don't even have to break your cheek weld from normal sight alignment. If your battery dies or you know whatever happens, I don't know. Uh, you can just transition down to it and you're good to go. So that's a really cool feature there. Obviously because of that, the optic is sitting higher so you're not gonna be able to co-witness iron sights through the optic, uh, which again, isn't a big deal because it's built into the optic. So let's jump up to this other one here on the aim point duty. So this mount is a little bit smaller. There are no backups built into it just because the aim point duty doesn't really allow for uh, getting a proper height to that. And the reason is because the aim point duty has this longer base on the bottom. You can see versus this H2 versus the duty. Uh, the duty is a, a lot thicker on the bottom. So uh, whenever we're dealing with that, that's why. And this will not co-witness with iron sights at all, uh, but it is still a really good solid mount for the aim point duty, especially whenever you wanna get your optic up higher. Um, I know a lot of guys nowadays, it's, it's just more comfortable to have a bit higher optic red dot, especially if you're using something like night vision, uh, which if you're, you're not, you should definitely try it because it's shooting with night vision, it's awesome. All right, so anyways, that is the, uh, the new mounts, or new wear mounts, I should say, from Unity Tactical. If you have any experience with these products, uh, feel free to leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.